Hello and welcome to the TakeSearch channel. In today's video, we will talk about deploying containerized Python Flask application on AWS Fargate. Yeah, the task might seem at first uh, quite simple, but like there are some tweaks and moreover, when you enter the Fargate console, you've got lots of configuration and this might feel a little bit overwhelming. So I'm there to guide you step by step. We will start by creating locally the Flask application and uh, don't worry, the whole code is in the GitHub repo. Link is down uh, below in the description. Later on, we will containerize it using Docker. We will create an image and this image will be pushed to the ECR, which stands for Elastic Container Registry, which is basically AWS managed uh, repo for Docker images. And after that, we will uh, use this image and deploy it on AWS Fargate. So what are the prerequisites? I need you to have AWS account created, AWS CLI installed, and you need to have Docker installed locally, of course. Optionally, you can also have Python if you want to run the application without Docker to test it, but it's not necessary. Okay, let's move to the code. The application itself is straightforward. We've got a single root, which returns us a simple string. This is the app py file. We also have a Docker file where we get a lightweight Python image. We create a folder, we copy requirements to it, then we install them. We copy the app py, we expose port 5000, which we specify there. And after that, we run our Python application. Super simple. And then we've got the readme file where lots of necessary commands are. We will use them. We can start with building uh, the Docker image locally. So let's uh, copy this command and hit enter. Okay, we've got the image. After that, you can run it locally to test it. We will skip that. The next step would be creating a dedicated repository in Elastic Container Registry, which will be done using this command. As I said, I assume you've got AWS CLI properly configured and installed on your computer, but you can also use AWS Management Console for that. Let's hit enter. If you've got something like this, it means that the repository has been successfully installed. The next step would be to authenticate Docker to ECR. And as you can see, there are some placeholders. Uh, you need to uh, modify them, like this region, this region, and out there, there is account ID. I'll copy my command. If, got log if you've got login succeeded, then you're good to go. Next, we need to properly tag the image and then push it to the ECR. Uh, again, don't forget to replace these placeholders. First command and then pushing to the ECR. We need to wait a moment. And as you can see, uh, the, we successfully pushed the image and now we can move to the AWS management console. Right there, we can start with checking the ECR to verify if our repo has been created. If you've got something like this, then you're fine. So now we can move to the ECS, so Elastic Container Service, and out there we will run our Docker image. What we need to do first is to create a new cluster. Move their clusters, create clusters. And an ECS cluster is essentially a group of resources where our like tasks and services will be run. And we've got the AWS Fargate uh, launch type and EC2 instances launch type. In case of this EC2 instances launch type, we would need to manage our own virtual machines, but we select the Fargate so AWS will handle 
the underlying infrastructure and we will not have to manage or scale any EC2 instances. So that's really cool. We can select that. All you need to do there is to specify the cluster name. Let's call it, for example, Flask on Fargate cluster. Please verify if the AWS Fargate checkbox is selected. The rest you can leave as is and click create. Now wait a few moments and we will move to creating a task definition. If the cluster is created, please select on the left the task definition and create new task definition. Yeah, the task definition is something like a blueprint for our containers and out there we can specify our Docker image and lots, lots of stuff like CPU requirements, memory requirements, network settings and so on. But we will try to keep it as simple as possible. So first we specify the name. We leave this as is. This task role, you can leave it blank in case of task execution role. If you don't have it already created, you can select create new role and AWS will create a new role for you. So that's really nice. We also need to specify a name for this and we need to specify our image. For this, you need to move back to the ECR. Select this one. copy the image URI and paste it there. The rest uh, you can leave blank. No, you also need to map the port 5000. That's fine. Down there we leave everything as is. So you need to create the task definition if it's created, then we are good to move back to the clusters. We select our flask on Fargate cluster and down there you can have like services, tasks and so on. You need to go to services and create a new service. This you can leave as is. This you can leave as is. And down there, like the family, select a task definition family. We select the task definition we have just created. Service name. Let's call it something like this. Down there, you can leave everything as is. Now we need to create a new security group. And we need to expose port 5000. For the source, you can select anywhere and the rest you leave as is. So now we hit create. We need to wait a few moments. After a while, you can hit the refresh button in your browser and you should uh, see this service down there. You can click it. Now you should move to the tab tasks and select this task. And down there, we should have our public IP. Copy this, paste it. Don't forget about the port 5000. And when we hit enter, we've got our string from the application. So uh, that's how you deploy the Flask Python application on AWS Fargate.